All right. Welcome everyone to pit stop number one at the San Diego Zoo presented by our good friends at Gooder, 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 who are here today and they're actually gonna help us with an activity later on. Our friend Kelly from Gooder is here and she's gonna be playing a game with us all later as long as you stay tuned, okay? So we're gonna start off today um, by doing what we all I think miss in love and that's our athlete oath. Yes. Yeah. So watch this video first. No sound. No sound. We can't, we can't hear anything. There's no sound. No sound. Oh. We're There's no sound time. whatsoever. We're going to try it one more time, okay? Three no right, two. There we go. Let me win. 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 Let me be brave in the attempt. Let me be brave in the attempt. Déjeme ser valiente en el Let me be brave in the attempt. Yay. So we're going to ask now if everybody wants to unmute and we'll say it all together, just like we used to say at our competitions. So everybody oh. unmute and I'll give you a second. Unmute yourselves. <laughs> and on the count of three, let's say it together. Oh. One, two, Three of our friends from San Diego. So with me today from our San Diego office are three global messengers. First, we have Mr. Evan Hello. Carr, who's a global messenger and a member of our Athlete Input Council. We have Ms. Christina Principe, who's a global messenger. And we have Mr. Rob Repass, who is also a global messenger and Athlete Input Council member here in San Diego. So they're gonna kick it off for us and share some fun facts about the San Diego Zoo. So Evan, if you wanna go first, go ahead. All right, good evening. My name is Evan. I have been involved in the Special Olympics for about 10 years. Oh, wow. The San Diego Zoo houses over 4,000 animals, more than 950 species. It has the distinction of being one of the oldest zoological parks in the world. Approximately 32 million people visit the San Diego Zoo every year. Thank you, Evan. And next up, we have Ms. Christina. Christina, you want to share your facts? You got to unmute first. Ooh. There you go. I'm Christina Principe. I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm a Special Olympics global manager. And I'm a Special Olympics uh, swimmer. And I'm going to share with my, with you guys, with the Jew. The San Diego Jew has the largest population of, of giant pandas in North America. The zoo has been, it is present location to, I mean, in Babo Park, 1922, it is the United States, it, it, oh, sorry, it is most visiting Jew in the United States. We're very proud of that fact, right, San Diego, so we've got the best zoo in, in the world, and here in San Diego, how lucky are we? The next Yay, one to share some facts is Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Good evening. My name is Rob Repess, and now we're going to ah. talk about uh, the zoo. So, here goes. The San Diego Zoo was a pioneer in the concept of a cageless of cageless exhibits that recreate natural animal habitats. The San Diego Zoo is home to monkeys, baboons, bonobos, gorillas, eagles, leopards, cheetahs, elephants, camels, giraffes, capybara, fusa, bears, koalas, foxes, hippos, alligators, snakes, tortoises, beetles, plants, and many more. Perfect. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. There's so much to see at the zoo. I don't think anyone could go through the whole thing in just one day. And I saw so many different comments about everyone's love for the zoo down here. We're so glad you enjoyed as much as we do. So thank you to our global messengers. Big round of applause to you. Thanks for sharing our, our fun facts today. Great job. And the next person that I'm very excited to introduce is our good friend from Gooder, and that's Kelly. And she's gonna explain to you all the activity we're gonna do together today. So if you wanna take the stage, Ms. Kelly. Hi everyone. So nice to meet all of you amazing oh. athletes. Uh, we're gonna play a fun game called Would You Rather? So we're going to run through some slides where you have an option to pick what you would rather be or do. And you're going to choose, you're going to show your fingers one, if you want to pick the first choice or two for the second. And we'll talk about why you made those choices. We have some fun choices to make. So excited to play this game with everyone. And I, I'm not sure, are we going to go into a breakout room or are we going to do this all in one room here we are so we're gonna break everybody out into four different rooms because this is a lot that we have 152 people on here today that is a lot you guys mm -hmm. huge number of people it's great and that's just too many people to see everyone's responses so we're gonna break out into four different groups so you're gonna be you're on your computer you're gonna get a prompt that's gonna come up and I want you to click the blue button that says to join the breakout room when it comes up and when you see that do that and it's gonna take you to a different screen and you're gonna see Miss Kelly, myself, and Josh, and one other staff person, and we're gonna lead you through the exercise, okay? So be patient, that's gonna pop in a, in a few minutes. And while we're waiting for that, I was wondering maybe if anyone has a favorite story to share about the zoo. Maybe somebody can share their favorite story about the zoo. Raise your hand and I'll pick on you. Anybody? Uh, there's so many people I can't see. Christina, go ahead. Why don't you share your favorite story about the zoo? Okay. So there's that. The San Diego Zoo is so much fun to go because you can see all different kind of animals. Like my favorite animals is um, big, big giraffe that you can reach on top of the tree and it has like long neck. And then I like the big, um, big bear. Uh, Black bear, black and white bear, the panda bear. And those two animals I like. I love panda bears too. They're so cute and they're so uh, clumsy. Has anyone seen yes. those videos of the panda bears from the National Zoo? And I think it's in yes. DC. Yeah. They're pretty fun too, because you can mm -hmm. uh, stay next to your mommy bear and then the uh, sister bear. Mm hmm So it's pretty cool. Does anybody else have a story to share about the zoo while we're still getting our breakout room set up? Let me go ahead, Paja. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Rob. I see your hand. Go ahead. My favorite thing about the zoo, it is the Sky Fari because I obviously... I'm not that afraid of heights, except for when there's uh, no ground on the thing that holds you up. But the reason why I like that Sky Fari is because you can look down at the animals that there are, 
you can especially look down at the birdhouse from high uh, there. Also, waterfall, uh, where you can find fish, or as well, the penguins. Oh, the penguins. I remember the penguins. And I just got news. We are ready for our breakout rooms, everybody. So when okay. you get an invitation, I want you to hit the blue button and join, okay? Yeah. And we'll see you all back here in 15 Have minutes. Have fun. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome to my breakout room. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to share this and then we will get started. Just a second. Out. Is everybody having fun so far? Yeah, no, I'm actually I'm having fun. I'm, I'm having actually having fun, fun doing the work. I'm so happy I'm to hear that. I'm actually the only one in my team that raised money, so. Look at you, rock star. That's awesome. I've raised $25 for Special Olympics already. People have been sponsoring. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you for doing that, Amy. So, so this I is can, our game. Can everybody yeah. hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Yes. Good. Okay. So this game is called Would, Would You, you Rather? Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you two options. And I can see everybody's face. And mm -hmm. what we're going to do is you're going to raise your one. So the option is one or two. Mm -hmm. And we're going to vote on each of the options, okay? So there's going to be an image option, and I'll talk you through it, and we'll do it that way. Mm -hmm. So, yep. would you rather? Okay. Now we want to know a famous athlete or a famous musician. What is F of zero plus G of zero? Oh, that's a good so balance. That's a good balance. Zero, well, I'm seeing a lot of athletes. We've got a lot of athletes of already, right? We've got a lot of athletes at so Special Olympics, so that zero. makes a lot of sense. And tell me what's the like value. Athletes the favorite, but a couple of musicians. And we can have you guys sing so maybe the national anthem for zero. us when we do so our sports. Could be substituted we'll together that way. Oh, gee. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Yep. Two and a half. That's right. And that should equal. Would you rather... Good. Now try to do number nine by yourself. Same be able thing. To fly you to or become one. invisible? Uh, mm. I don't know why, but. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to pick on somebody to explain why, okay? I see, because that one's a pretty balanced. So I'm going to pick on Camilla and uh, Camilla. Why don't you tell us why you picked number two? I picked to be invisible because you could sneak out of the house and do what you want, and nobody would even know who's doing it. That's oh, not very cool. <laughs> what about um, Amber? Do you want to share which one you picked? Sure. Oh, wait. yes, ma'am. I chose two because um, I also think it's cool. I mean, not to sneak around, but um, you know, turn invisible, hide from the world. <laughs> Sounds like two is the, the favorite one between the two of you. All right, are we ready for number three? Here we go. Would you rather be covered in scales or in fur? Mm -hmm. I think I'm seeing all twos. I think we're in, oh, I see a one. Charles, do you want to explain why you want scales? Um, personally, I just really like reptiles. I think snakes are dope, uh, and having scales just seems like a really unique thing to do. And especially like if it can, if it can uh, change colors and everything, I think that's really cool. Nice. I like that. Thank you, Charles. What about Amanda? Do you want to explain what, what one you picked? I think the bear, the black bear. Very cool. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go on to number three. Would you rather, or I think we're at three or four, I can't remember. Would you rather live on the beach or live in the mountains? I'll live in the mountain. <laughs> maybe in the mountains, I like to, maybe I'll mm -hmm. take pictures of nature. Yeah. Brandon, do you want to explain why you picked number one, the beach? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, 
the beach is really nice. I like the sound of the, the waves. Nice. Yes. Yeah. It's relaxing, huh? Yeah, relaxing. Cool. Does anybody else want to share which one they picked? Brianna? Yeah, mm -hmm. Word. It's nice in the mountains and quiet. And I nice. really enjoy it. Very cool. I picked number two too. I love the mountains. It's pretty. All right. So the next one is, would you rather run a mile or swim a mile? All right. So let's see. I'm going to pick on some coaches this time. I see we have a couple of coaches with us. So I'm going to pick on coach Max and then we'll do coach Sarah and Doug. Awesome. Thanks for picking on me. I would rather run a mile. I love this swim, but I feel more efficient when I run that mile rather than swim that mile. Are you a track coach, Coach Max? I am not a track coach. I have been in the past, but uh, not right now. <laughs> Thank you. What about you, Sarah and Doug? I think we're split. I think I'd rather run. Yeah, and I'd rather, I'd rather swim. I'm a big guy. I can float. It's just easier for me to swim a mile than it's. Uh, <laughs> plus, I love the water. What do you do? Either of you coach those sports, track and field, no. or swimming? No. Basketball, no. And bowling. bowling. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you both for sharing. All right, we're going to go on to the next. Are you ready, guys? Would you rather? And this one's gross. <laughs> eat a cricket or eat a snail? Hmm. See a couple? Okay, okay. I'm gonna pick Alice and I see you've got a crinkled nose. So what, what you, explain which one you wanted. I picked the snail because it doesn't have any legs you could feel <laughs> when you eat it. That's so a very good snail reason. Will go down to you. Yeah. <laughs> what about Amy, Amy Edelbrock? Which one did you pick? I picked the cricket because I know in China, they actually do eat fried crickets. And I know that it's, they're very, they're not cute. They're not a cute insect, but I'll try anything new. I'm a, brave girl. You are I'm a brave, brave girl. girl. I don't know if I'd eat a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> All right. So next we've got, would you rather give up TV for a month or the internet for a month? And it doesn't count if you use your internet for your TV. It's very interesting. It's a tricky one, right? Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to pick on Brenner. Why do you pick number one? Interesting. Because we're going to watch some Disney Plus for the TV for the month. Yeah, Disney Plus is great, right? Yes. And then uh, what else? You know, I haven't picked on yet is another staff member. I see Amber in our group with us. Amber, you want to explain your answer? Sure. I would do uh, Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Perfect. Thank you, Amber. All right. So the next one is, would you la rather live in the 20s or in the 60s? Who haven't I called on yet? Barbara and Nicole, do one of you want to answer? Oh, you're muted, Barbara and Nicole. Here we go. That's okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Can you uh, uh, give me the question again? I was. Doing Would you rather live in the 20s or in the 60s? Oh, okay. Would you like to live here? What would be your favorite? Nicole saying number one, the 20s. The 20s? Be a flapper girl? <laughs> yeah, I think I would like to live in the 20s also. Thank you, Nicole. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. All right, next. Would you rather eat only Subway or only In-N-Out for a whole month? And if those of you have been through Healthy Athletes, I hope I see number one. 
Yeah. 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 I can understand if you pick number two for in and out. We are Californians, right? We have to love yes. in and out. All right. I'm gonna I think I know the answer to all of us, so we're gonna skip on to the next one. No one says no in and out. This is the last one, and this might be the most important one. Are we ready? Would you rather be an Avenger or join the Justice League? <laughs> I want to, number two, I want to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, there we go. Who, has there somebody I haven't called on yet? Chris, do you want to answer wh which one you picked? Um, the Avengers. The Avengers? Why the Avengers? Because they have, they have, they have, they have cool powers. Nice. And then, Andrew, I don't think I've heard from you yet, so I'm going to pick on you. I'm trying to get everybody getting there. <laughs> Uh, you muted. Oh, okay. Um, yes, ma'am. I would like to be part of the Justice League. Justice League. Avengers are cool, but um, they're better. You like the Justice mm -hmm. League? Thank you for sharing, Amber. What about you, Andrew? Avengers. Avengers. Nice. Yeah. Cool. That was this game. We have not been summoned back yet, um, so I think that we can just hang out and talk for a little bit. What do you guys think so far? Are you liking it? Yeah, that was good. That was fun. <laughs> Has it been hard to do all your steps every day? Yes. No. No? Good. I I'm happy to hear that. No. I exercise every day, so it's not a problem for me. I walk when it's right up still. I walk around the block at my Aunt Susie's house, so I get my steps in. That's good. Brianna is the leader on our team. She's leading us in steps right now. Brianna is. I don't Thomas. remember who my captain is. I don't remember now. I had to go look back at it. I have over 14,217 steps. Hey. Whoa. Hey, yay. What? You have more steps than I do. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> well, actually, not true. My, I have my uh, 3166, I think. Let me see. But I think on the app I have 31. I wrote it down. I think I walked with the app. There you go. 31, 32, 31, steps. Wow. Is everybody walking or are people doing different things? Are some people riding their bicycles and swimming? I'm playing tennis. I'm playing tennis. Tennis? Nice. That's good exercise. I walk. I walk. I walk. I walk. I don't have a bike. I don't know how to ride a bike. John's doing 20,000 every day. <laughs> wow. Like a 10K. I have no idea. Jeez. Nice. I did all my steps by um, walking around with uh, my kid. My kid. I'm not my kids at work. I work with kids all day, so I get my steps from that and going walking with my mom in the morning. How cool is that? Thanks for shooting, Charlize. And that's so cool that you're working with kids. What a great job to have. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So how how you guys liking my steps and my miles? Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me see where mine is. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? I'll show you mine, show you mine on my walking spree. Yep. Okay. I, I feel like I've seen all you guys on my Zoom class every day. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> I see you, Joshua, and Christina. Yep, that's me. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where's my walking spree? So uh, how do I do on this piece, Amanda? You did great, Christina. You always have such good positive energy. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank that's you. how many I have been doing. Wow, that's cool. So we're going to be so going back with the Monday. big group in about a minute, guys. They're going to give us a notice. When you get the notice on your computer to go back, Aww. say yes. Okay? It's going to pop up on your screen and say yes, and then we'll all be in the big group together. Okay. All right. Got it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 3,100 steps, Amy. Good job. Woohoo! I've done 700 steps. Uh, well, 7,000. Yeah. 7,000. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Brandon. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, this is great. This is exactly what we are wanting to hear. So that's wonderful information. Good job. Yep. Thank you. Six miles. I actually fell yesterday. Two point eighty miles. <laughs> oh no. Jeez. 
I fell on a pe on gravel, so I cut up my hand and both my knees. Ouch! By walking. Ooh, yeah, oh. you need to be you need to be careful. Yeah, I wasn't. I was paying attention. Yeah. But the gravel didn't want me to walk. Yeah. I have twelve thousand eight hundred and sixty steps. That's good. From just today. Wow. Good job, wow. Shirley. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> there we okay. go. Okay, so hit the blue button, leave breakout room. Okay, everybody click that button for me. Is that the bottom or the top? It's right in the middle, Christina. The blue oh. leave breakout room. I hope she got it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Come back, we're coming in. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are coming back, oh, yeah. so we're not sure where they I went. <laughs> We got lost in the shuffle. Yeah, lost in the shuffle. We're well, slowly welcoming people back. I think we have a, a handful that are still on their way back to us. And yeah, then we're going to go into the next part of our, our pit stop fun. So if everyone can wait for that part to happen, I want you to mute yourself in the time for the time being. And then I'm going to, and then I'll introduce our next um, celebrity host for us. Okay. Do the first one. Yeah, lost in shuffle somewhere. If you need to, you can stand up, stretch around a little bit, grab some water because the next part is going to be our fitness part. So make sure you have some water with you, okay? All right. It's options. It's options. Yes, okay. See me. Hi, David. Hey. Hi, it's Martin. Hmm. Hey. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Martin. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. <clears throat> are you guys having a good time so far? You yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Lost in the shuffle somehow. <clears throat> That's the first game. Yeah. Perfect, Louie. David one? Hernandez on the scene. Uh, yeah. It's Coach Douglas, David. I know it. Hello, Sarah and Douglas. I see on the screen there. Hi. Hi, guys. Hey, Hi. Good to Hi. See you. Hi, guys. Hi, guys, Ben. Coach Douglas, what do you? What Special Olympics do you do? Basketball and Basketball. bowling. What area? What area? Burbank. 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 Wow. I do bowling. I would try Valley. Truck and field. Southern California. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amy. All you, right, you everybody. We're going to get going on to the next part. So I'm going to ask everyone to mute themselves. Okay. And I'm going to introduce our friend, Rachel, who's going to teach us how to do some boxing today. And that's going to be our workout. So, Coach Rachel, if you want to pop on, turn your sound on, and lead us through some boxing, that would be wonderful. Hi, guys. Hello, Hi. Rachel. Hi. All right. All right. Awesome. So, today we're going to do some boxing. We're going to keep it really fun and easy so everyone can follow along. You don't need any equipment. You just need a little space. So make sure that you give yourself a little space if you're next to a friend. Make sure that you guys have arms distance apart so you don't um, accidentally hurt your friend, okay? So we're going to start with our warm-up, all right? So for our warm-up, let's get big shoulders, okay? We always want to make sure that we have nice and warm before we start our workouts so we don't um, get hurt. So it's really important to warm up. So we're doing some big, big shoulder rolls. Get those shoulders feeling warm and reverse. So now we're going to try to go the other way to reverse. All right. Awesome. Now we're going to stand and we're just going to twist. Okay. We're just twisting to get our lower back nice and warm and get our hips ready to move. Okay, if you don't have room, you can do it, you can even do it sitting in a chair. So you can sit in your chair and you can just twist in a chair, okay? So if you don't have full room, 
go ahead and stay seated and you can follow along in your chair, okay? Awesome. Okay, let's go. I had my hamster on Big me. stretch and then hug ourselves. And then big open stretch and hug ourselves, okay? So we're gonna focus a lot on the upper body for those of us who don't have a lot of room. We're gonna get our upper body nice and warm. All right, awesome. Great warm up, guys. So, boxing, super fun. And today I'm gonna teach you a couple of three really easy moves and then we'll put it into our uh, workout, okay? So if you, you can choose either way you wanna stand, okay? So sometimes if you um, like to write with your right hand, then you can stand with your right hand back and your left hand forward. Or if you like to write with your left hand, then you can stand with your left hand back and your right hand forward. But either way, it doesn't matter. Like I like to write with my right hand, but I still stand with my right hand forward. So there's no right or wrong, whatever you wanna do, okay? So we're gonna stand and in our boxing stance. So we like to have our feet shoulder width apart. So your feet not too spread out and our hands always up to protect ourselves, okay? So the first punch we're gonna do is called the jab. All right, the jab. So that's with your, whatever your front hand is, whatever hand you have in front, wave that hand forward, okay? That's the hand that you're gonna do the jab with, okay? So our jab is just gonna go forward and back. Forward and back. So see that I always keep my hand up and when I go forward, I'm twisting my wrist so my hand is forward like this. Okay, so you should be able to see your knuckles forward like this. Okay, so this is the jab. All right, I wanna see everybody give me some good jabs. Just keep doing the jabs. I'm gonna look through your camera and see. All right, I see some super awesome jabs. I'm seeing some good form out there. Awesome, great job. So this is your jab. This is the first punch. Great. So next we're gonna do the cross. This is the back hand. Everyone wave your back hand, whichever hand's in back, okay? That hand we're gonna cross. So see that I'm turning forward and now I'm crossing, okay? So I turn my shoulder and I cross. So and again, my knuckles are straight and they're coming back to my face. And what happens with my front hand? It always stays at my face. All right, so just keep crossing. I'm gonna look through and see on the video how we're doing. All right, awesome. I see a lot of good form, a lot of good crosses. Okay, great. So that's the cross, okay? Those are the two main punches, the most important. But right now I'm gonna teach you a third that's super fun to do. It's called the hook, okay? so. Raise your, raise your front hand again with the front hand that we did our jab, okay? And we're going to hook across, okay? So remember our jab, we went forward. Now we're going a hook, making a hook. All right, let me see those hooks. Awesome form. I see some really great form. I see everybody trying their best. I love it. Okay, great. So those are our three main punches, a jab, a cross, and a hook. All right, so we're going to start our workout for today. And when we do our jab, cross, hook, again, make sure if you're by anybody else, give yourself lots of room so you don't accidentally hurt anybody. All right. And if you're in a chair and you can't stand up, that's okay, you still participate and just don't have to do any of the standing or the jumping that we do, okay? So we're gonna do a quick little workout when we're gonna practice using those three main punches, okay? So I need everybody together. So notice how I'm kind of bouncing on my feet. Yeah, and we're gonna get warm. We're gonna keep, make sure we stay warm and we're gonna learn some combinations, okay? So we're gonna jab, let's go. Jab, everybody, jab, jab, good, keep it up. 
jab, jab, awesome. Now we're just using the front hand right now and just jabbing. Okay, now we're gonna go cross, 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 cross. Good job, we're just using the back hand now. Only the cross. All right, now we're gonna go, guess you guessed it, hook, 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 hook. Good, we're making nice hook over and over. All right, now that you got those three down, let's try them together, okay? Jab and cross, jab and cross, jab and cross. Good, keep going. Cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Now, if you think you can speed up a little bit, go ahead and speed up and we're gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Good, nice job. Now, who thinks they can add the hook in? Ready? We're going to go jab, cross, hook. Try again. Jab, cross, hook. There you go. Jab, cross, hook. All right. Keep going at your own pace. If you can speed up, try to speed up. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. But if you still need to slow, you can still go jab, cross, hook. All right, nice job. I see some really good form out there. Great job. Cross, hook. All right, a couple more. Jab, cross, hook. Freeze. All right, I need everyone to freeze right now. And in between our combinations, we're going to get a little sweat going. So I want everyone to give me 10 jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, great. Now we're gonna move on. Well, actually, let's take a quick water break. I <laughs> forget about water. Everyone, take a quick drink of water if you need to. And we'll be back in ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. All right, cool. So if you are done with your water, welcome back. And we're going to keep trying our combos, all right? So last time you did the jab, cross, hook. Now we're going to go jab, jab, cross, cross. Let's go. Jab, jab, cross, cross. Keep it up. Jab, jab, cross, cross. See if you can go faster. If you can go faster, go ahead and push yourself and see. Jab, jab, cross, cross, jab, jab, cross, cross. All right, good job. I see a lot of good form. I see a lot of people trying their hardest. That's what we like to see. Cross. All right, our next combo we're going to do is jab and then same hand, hook. Sneaky, okay? That's a sneaky one. Jab, hook, jab, hook. Good. Hook, keep it up. Jab, hook, jab, hook. See if you can go faster. Jab, hook, jab, hook, jab, hook. Good. All right, now we're gonna start with our cross, which is, we're always starting with our jab. So this is a fun one too. If you start with your back hand, remember the cross. Cross, jab, uh, jab cross, jab, all right? Try that again, ready? Cross, jab, cross, jab, good, and keep it up. See how fast you can go? Cross, jab, cross, jab, right? If you need, if you can speed up, you can go ahead and speed up, but if you wanna slow down, that's okay too. Jab, cross, jab. Nice job, good job on that combo. Keep going. Keep moving, stay on your toes, keep bouncing, see how I bounce back and forth. Okay, and then our third combo, we're gonna go jab, back, jab, cross. All right, so two front hands in a row and then the back hand. Jab, jab, cross. Good, jab, jab, cross, nice. Jab, jab, cross, all right. And if you can speed it up, go ahead and speed it up. 
Good. Nice job. This is a fun one because you get to do the same hand twice. Cross. Good. So if you can go faster, try to go faster. If not, no problem. It's all about form. Keeping good form. That's what's most important when we work out is that we're doing it right and we're keeping good form. Jab, cross. Cool. Jab, jab, cross. All right, a couple more. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Nice. Push yourself. Good. Jab, jab, cross. Now freeze. And what do we do between our combos is we get a good little workout. So now we're going to go toe touches. So take your hand and touch your toe. And we're going to do 10 toe touches. And come here to my birthday next week. Awesome. Happy birthday. I love birthdays. I miss Let's go 10 toe touches and water. All right, let's get a good water break. Hopefully you guys have a good sweat. I'm gonna drink my water. Ashley, I got my birthday already because I just turned 50. Oh, that's awesome. I just turned 18, Rachel. Oh, awesome. Yeah, my mom's birthday is this Sunday. That's great. I love it. All right. So listen up. We're going to make sure that we're drinking. I saw an awesome comment that said, make sure you're breathing in and out. Thank you. Whoever said that. Yes. Make sure when we're doing our workouts that we're always breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth and make sure that we're going to be breathing. Okay. So let's do one more combo. And then we'll um, keep, and then we'll uh, kind of wrap it up. So, all right. Now we remember our jab. Front I hand. I, I might just get in the ring. Keep our tees. He's my neighbor. Back hand. Oh, awesome. Jab front hand. Cross back hand. Hook with the front hand. Okay. So we're going to go jab, jab, cross, hook. Let's go. Jab. Jab, cross, hook, and again, jab, jab, cross, hook, nice, jab, jab, cross, hook, good job, guys, I love it, I see some good form, I see a lot of great participating, that's what I love to see, working out isn't about being the best, it's about trying your best, right, cross, hook, let's go, jab, Jab, cross, hook. Nice. Now this is a really fun one because it uses all three punches. So it works up a good sweat. Jab, jab, cross, hook. All right. Nice job. You guys keep going. I'm watching on video. See some super great form. All right. Let's go. Jab, jab. Cross, hook, all right. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Good, all right. Cross, hook. Okay, now our next combo, we're gonna start with the hook, okay? So front hand, we're gonna go hook, cross, mm -hmm. hook, cross, okay? So those four in a row, okay? And then in between, take a deep breath and do it again, okay? So we're gonna go hook, cross, Hook, cross, whew. hook, cross, hook, cross, good. And as you get more comfortable with the hook and the cross, you can try to speed up if you like, okay? Hook, whoop, hook, <laughs> cross, hook, cross. Nice job, guys. Keep it up, keep participating. It's so important. These pit stops are awesome that you guys are getting active together. Cause that's what Special Olympics is all about, right? Making friends and yes. hanging out with your coaches. Yes. We love to stay active and stay healthy. All right, let's hook, cross, hook, cross. All right, let's go. Nice job. I see some great form out there. Okay, cool. And now our third combination. 
for this set is cross, cross, jab, hook. Now that one's kind of fun, okay? So backhand, cross, and then again, cross, and then front hand, jab, and then front hand, hook. Okay, so that's a sneaky one, okay? So actually, okay. I'm just getting tired because uh, this morning I went for a walk for three times around wow. and then I did my elliptical. I'm just getting tired. Oh yeah, so if you're tired, go ahead and take a break. We're almost done. We only have a couple more minutes left, but if you're tired, go ahead and take a break. No problem and drink a lot of water and make sure you're breathing. So we're gonna try this combination, okay? We're gonna start slow and when you feel comfortable, you can speed it up, okay? So cross, cross, jab, hook. Again, cross, cross, jab, hook. Good, I see a lot of good form out there. This is not an easy combination. Cross, cross, jab, hook. It's easy to, it looks easy, but when you have to keep it together, sometimes you get confused. So cross, cross, jab, hook. If you feel comfortable, we go a little faster. Hook, again, cross, cross, jab, hook. Nice, cross, cross, jab, hook. Good job. This is definitely one of the hardest combinations and you guys are doing awesome. Jab, hook. Whoever lives by Tito Ortiz, I bet he'd be scared of you now because you got some good combinations. <laughs> All right, nice job, you guys. Keep working hard. Awesome. Cross, cross, jab, hook. Again, cross, cross, jab, hook. Nice. All right, make sure we're breathing, okay? And speed it up if you can. Again, if not, keep going at your same pace, okay? Jab, hook, let's go, breathe. Cross, jab, hook. Again, cross, cross, jab, hook. Last couple ones. Let me see them. Finish strong. Hook. All right, you got this. Cross, jab, hook. Cross, cross, jab, hook. Woo. All right, freeze. And how we end all of our combinations is with another workout. So we're going to do our jumps. Jump and get low, jump. We're gonna do it 10 times. All right, let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, you know what that means? Water break. Grab your water, take some big deep breaths, and calm your heart rate. I'll get my water. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may go to the bathroom. <laughs> of course. Okay. All right. So I know a lot of us have small space. And so I'm going to go to my chair to do this. Okay. So we're going to take some big deep breaths. And when you do an activity like boxing, your heart rate gets, yeah, you get sweaty. I see someone typing, okay? And your heart rate goes really fast. So it's always important to do a good cool down. So we're gonna take some big deep breaths, okay? And we're gonna start cooling our body down. Because what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna do a big workout and then just go off and don't give our body time to rest and relax, okay? so. Big deep breath, okay? So when we do our cool down, we're gonna make sure we have our water close by. You can drink some water when you want. Okay, we take some big deep breaths. Oh, and we're going to do some stretching, okay? So take one hand across and hold it there. Get a good stretch on your shoulder, okay? Super important, especially if you've never done something like boxing, you're using new muscles. So 
So even if you're workout all the time, you might be using muscles that you're not used to. So it's really important that you stretch those muscles, okay? All right, let's switch hands. Go across. Yeah, there we go. And making sure we're always taking deep breaths and allowing our body to cool down, okay? All right, we are stretching and making sure that we are getting all of our muscles relaxed. It's always important to do a good warm up and a good cool down. Okay, we're gonna take a hand and go over. So we're gonna reach to our back and push. Okay, so we're getting a good stretch right here. So let's stretch yes. this Be part good. of our arm. One minute. Don't need an apple and take a deep breath, stretching. And when you work out, it's really important after every workout to make sure that you're eating healthy food and to make sure that you're drinking lots and lots of water, okay? Take deep breaths, good job. All right, and let's switch hands. So now we're gonna do the other side. Ooh, reach to our back and push. Big deep breath. Good job, guys. Nice job, you guys did great. It was your first time boxing. And the cool thing about boxing is that now that you know those three punches, you can, whenever you wanna get a good workout in, you can just make up your own combos. It's super fun. You can make sure you do a good warm up, and you can then make up your own combos and do some jumping jacks. Okay, let's stretch. Here, we're gonna put our palms up, 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 and down. Okay, and really point up to the ceiling, and you should feel a stretch like right here, and down to the floor, okay? And we can even twist them around. Good, all right, let's go up, 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 and down, 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 and twist. Good job. I did that this morning uh, after I was done. I was um, doing part of it. Awesome. One that I really love doing is stretch big like you just got out of bed. Big stretch. That's a good one for your back. And go both. Keep going big. Wake up. This is like question, wake up. How, can you, how can you get on to the password for the walking speed? It's a big wake up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, there you go, and get your lower back. You can even twist it around a little bit. Again, big stretch, stretch, stretch. Awesome. Hey, I got a question. How can you get onto the walking speed password? Because I've been having a lot of trouble. Okay, awesome. So there's an email in the chat, and if you um, can, email that you can copy it from the chat the healthy athletes at sosc.org and they'll be able to help you get on that okay and thanks you're welcome thank you guys so much for letting me come in and be a part of your pit stop i hope that you had fun and remember yeah, we stay did. active okay yes rachel what we're can we all give a big round of applause to Coach Rachel? What a wonderful workout that was. Thank you. And also to our friend job, Kelly, Rachel. who helped us with our game today. Thank you. Give her a round of applause, hey. too. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. It's been great seeing you all and great playing with you all and working out with you all. We want to remind you to keep up your steps and your swimming and your biking, whatever you're doing to stay active. Our next pit oh stop God. is going to be on February 8th at 5 o'clock. So if you keep up your steps, you're going to be able to come do this all over again with a whole new workout and a whole new game to play. So if you could please keep up your steps, and we'll see you hopefully on February 8th at the Hollywood sign. So keep it up, everybody, and we'll hopefully see you next week. Thanks so much.